Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure, coming to you from the frozen plains of sunny western New York State, in Sinus Valley, south of Rochester, north of Hell. And I stumbled upon this little area, now here's the Martian lines again. These are more than just lines. What I found out is that we, we have little buildings here. They're forming the lines in this particular photo, this particular area. Now they're offset a little bit. I couldn't tell you exactly how much, but maybe 10, 20 degrees from the actual line that they're forming. And I have a bunch of still pictures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the voiceover on them because... Rather than use screen capture, I think that'll you know, do capture a picture of a picture, start running in trouble, and I really want to show them because it's seriously impressive. But at least a couple of these lines here, what we're seeing are essentially rows of buildings. There's no question about it. How do you explain all these rectangular objects? That are forming these lines. These cannot be photographic anomalies. I think we're seeing definitely that they're not photographic anomalies. Like I said, I had some rather dramatic uh, photos to show you on this. But take a look at this thing. I think I'll get another snapshot of this one because I think if I desat it and uh, lower the brightness and raise the what do you call it, the contrast, like you did with the others, I think that'll uh, do it for us. I think we're going to see something rather dramatic, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Hang on. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to go over all those uh, separately. I'll do a voiceover for them, so... Well, you can see these lines, lines of buildings, I should say, go right over obstacles. Well, in this case, they go between them. These lines are made up, in this case, of small rectangular objects. Small on my computer screen, huge in real life. There isn't any question. You know, if I didn't know any better, I might be tempted to think we're seeing some sort of basket weave, but we're not. It's these are buildings on Mars. Look at all the shadows these objects cast. Those aren't rocks. They're not hills, they're not natural formations or anything. Uh, we don't need any more proof than this. What we do need to do is remove some public officials who won't tell the public exactly what's going on. If they're not telling us that they found this on Mars, then they are incapable of doing their jobs properly and they should be thrown out of office or positions are in or whatever. They're completely unfit to be in office or working on a job or whatever because they're not telling the public what there is here. Isn't this amazing that all this can be in ignored? Just look at these objects. I'm going to do some drawings just to show you. 
There's a couple of them. I won't be able to do the drawings, by the way, when we go through the next phase for the simple reason that I won't be using the screen recorder here. But right in this area, it's like I said, the direction of these buildings is offset a little bit from the line, maybe 10, 20 degrees. So, I don't know what that means, other than these are buildings, possibly dwellings. I was almost tempted to think, okay, this is a train, but they can't be, can't be that. So, what we have here are just row, these long rows of buildings on Mars, and it's, of course, being ignored. We're not supposed to see them. We're supposed to see rocks. We're supposed to be see rocks and sand dunes. No way. And I'll give you another clue that pariodolia stuff, that's a bunch of hogwash. That refers... It's something to do with faces. People see a face in something. Doesn't apply here. Plus, in fact, well, all this stuff follows the contour of the land, which means it has to be... It's not natural. It's buildings. It's artifacts and the ground photos. Okay, here's one, the one building that I'm most fascinated with, which is this huge one here. You see the uh, shadow it casts? Whatever it is, it's big. And... I don't know what's going on here, other than it's, it's kind of a stretch to say that this is residential, it's probably industrial of some uh, nature, and we're about two miles off just for perspective here. So why don't we go ahead, we're going to do the pictures next. I won't be able to draw any arrows because I'm going to do the pictures a different way. I'm not going to use screen capture. See how this uh, one building sits over these things and casts a shadow? This is huge. And all these other things are casting shadows on the ground. Which means they're either flying or floating or something. Right, I'm going to put this on hold, and part two is going to be done with Windows Movie Maker. And as a result, the voice quality will be different. This is going to be kind of a pain for me, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hold on. Okay, we're going to move real fast through here. Here's the first one I took. You can clearly see the buildings are lined up right in a line. This is just beautiful. I don't know how anyone can deny this. If you can deny it, <laughs> let me know how. These are buildings. This is an advanced planet. No wrist hands or butt spot. I'm going to be moving quickly, so here comes the next slide. Uh, again, we see some artificial stuff, especially towards the top of the photo and the bottom. Definitely some buildings there. And once again, if you can deny it some way, go, you think you can deny it some way, go ahead and try. Because I'm thinking most people are going to look at this and say, hey, screw this, that plant's alive. And here's the third slide.
basically rehash the last one. You see the lines on buildings, there's lots and lots of rectangles there. This is not natural. It's utter BS to think that it is natural. I'm getting about tired of the lies. I've had it. I want some truth out of our government. And again, if you look right in the center of the screen, you can easily see buildings. Now, the resolution is crummy, I realize that. In the lower right hand of the photo, there's something too. A uh, building, maybe a uh, cylindrical type deal. I'll put it on hold and study it. And go to the coordinates on that I give you on Google Earth and use those. Here's that big building that uh, wowed me. This thing goes over the uh, smaller buildings beneath it. And there appears to be a building coming out of it from the left. This is an industrial type area, maybe a travel terminal? I don't know. This is just weird. And again, here's another good photo that shows the buildings. You can see the gaps between them. They're different colors. What I did was I desaturated and I brought up the contrast down the, brought the brightness down to help show these features more. Building after building after building. This is about what you'd expect from that height. And here we go again. Same basic thing. These are buildings lined up right in a row. Uh, there's stuff that goes underneath them too, which I'm unable to identify. Basically, some kind of an industrial area. I'll post the coordinates so you can uh, look at them. And more buildings. So at this point, somebody's got to say, hey, we got to demand some honesty out of these people because they're just lying, which is what they're doing. They're lying, 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 lying. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh... If you want, take this video, use it on your site. I don't care. I don't make any money anyway. So you can go ahead and use it. I'm okay with it. Others have done that. I don't say anything about it. Nothing will ever be said. They're buildings after buildings after buildings. And they're being ignored by the powers that be because they don't think that you're intelligent enough to handle this type of thing. Last one, same thing, oh yeah, more buildings, these are small buildings lined up right in a line, at least the center ones are, and things hovering, unbelievable, this can be ignored, I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.